Good morning. I have been waiting for this day since I even knew that there was going to be a peak bloom announcement. And in just a few hours, we're going to find out. But first, we're going to give you a little bit of a hint, if you will. So we're going to start off with the National Park Service. Mike Litter is joining us this morning. We are excited because we're seeing the green buds but we've got that big announcement today. Yeah, we're really excited. I mean, this is this should be a national holiday. I mean, we are gonna announce uh, the annual peak bloom prediction this morning. Uh, that's when we expect that 70% of the Yoshino trees around the tidal basin will be in blossom. And while we show people some of those green buds right now, you were mentioning this year, it's a little bit complicated. This year has been uh, difficult to say the least. You know, we, we, we had the third warmest winter on record, the trees never reached winter dormancy, which is the starting point for counting uh, the days until it will be at peak bloom. So we sort of missed that, uh, that benchmark. And we've had these extreme temperatures followed by lows, which offset that. I think last weekend, Thursday, it was 80 degrees. Two days later, it was snowing on the tidal basin. And, and the trees sort of pick up on those vibes. And um, yeah, they're, they're giving us some mixed messages, but uh, we think we've got it sorted out and we'll make that announcement in just a few hours. You were mentioning that the indicator tree is also acting up a little bit too. The indicator tree, uh, just a couple days ago, you could find four distinct stage bl uh, bloom stages on that one tree, depending on which branch that you were looking at. So uh, again, this, uh, this, this above average temperatures, this uh, exceedingly warm winter that we had um, is, is showing on the trees. Sneak peek. Are we thinking a little bit earlier than usual because of the warm temps? Well, again, it was the third warmest uh, winter on record. We know that heat is what breaks winter dormancy and drives uh, flowering trees to bloom. So I don't think it's going to be any surprise if we wind up earlier than the average date of April 4th. Great. Well, you heard it here first, that little sneak peek for you. And of course, we will be covering exactly when peak bloom will be, when that announcement happens in just a few hours. Live in front of a bunch of cherry blossom trees, Joy Wang, 7 News.